<laughs> Kate. Kate. Are you okay? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the best times that versatile SNL performer Kate McKinnon got her co-stars laughing. And breakfast. <laughs> and breakfast means morning here. Number 10. Weekend Update. Ruth Bader Ginsburg on Not Retiring. Kate McKinnon has a knack for out-there impressions of political figures like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Rather than trying to be as accurate as possible, she instead turns the Supreme Court justice into a wild child. Colin, the bench is now my porch. I'm gonna sit on it all day and scream, no, get out of my yard! The performer's version of Ginsburg speaks her mind to the point of making Weekend Update host Colin Jost lose it. She also finds time to eat a bunch of emergency powder, taking the segment into the wonderful world of physical comedy. McKinnon's antics earn her laughter from the audience and her co-stars. It's supposed to put it in water for yeah, the reason. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, got, got a little... Kind of all over. Clearly dedicated to the performance, the comedian goes for broke and steals the show with some dancing. And that's a hot guns burn. <laughs> Number 9. Last Call with Dave Chappelle. As a creepy bar patron, Kate McKinnon shows that she's nothing short of a fearless performer. You know, uh, I was looking at you because you have that certain still here quality. This version of the recurring sketch features a hookup with the equally daring Dave Chappelle. McKinnon and her scene partner push the boundaries of good taste, eventually driving Kenan Thompson to the edge. Something's happening here. Yeah, it's called the first sign of the apocalypse. <laughs> Their water fountain act breaks up Thompson in a hilarious finale. Given some of the chaotic lines and physical comedy from this sketch, it's incredible that he lasted as long as he did. The writers of this script must have been begging for someone to break with this crazy hookup. Ah, uh, uh, damn it, Anthony. You let him get to you. Number 8. Actress Round Table. For this scene, Debette Goldry is a spunky actress who explains the hardships of Hollywood's golden age. Alongside younger performers, the character recounts the harassment she endured from men in the olden days. They, they actually tried to teach me how to read once by putting peanut butter in my mouth. And then they remembered, that's how you make it look like a horse is talking. So they gave the part to a horse. Goldry also has a positivity about her that's infectious, making her comments sound nonchalant coming from her. McKinnon's performance still manages to get seen part partner Margot Robbie breaking before it's all over. You girls know how it is. <laughs> no, we don't. Is that a thing that happens? Robbie clearly holds it together as best she can, but can't help it after some of her co-star's funniest lines. It makes for a roundtable discussion full of surprising revelations and laughs. All the time we have. Well, I know what that means. All right, you crouch, get your kicks while you can. <laughs> Number 7. Another Close Encounter Back for a second round, Ryan Gosling joins Cecily Strong and Kate McKinnon once more to describe his communication with aliens. The latter performer cranks up the sketch early with her mannerisms and wild stories. They were all dropping in, scrambling to mash up my cheek meat like it's pizza dough. Right? Some would knead for a bit, you know, and wait for another turn. Gosling even becomes McKinnon's helper, posing as a model for an extraterrestrial demonstration. The host shakes with laughter as his co-star goes off on a lengthy speech about her encounter. Jen was in there looking for the source of the terror, and I was like, hey, last guy who did that got double barrel pink eye. While you might have thought this wouldn't be funny a second time, the sketch proves itself with a few inventive changes. It's clear that the cast is still smitten with McKinnon's character once more. Number 6. Weekend Update – Olya Povlatsky on the Sochi Olympics Channeling a rural Russian woman, Kate McKinnon disappears into the part of Olya Povlatsky. Her character's segment about the Sochi Olympics is much more than a sports announcement, delving into Povlatsky's personal life. Last man I dated was a real dog. Oh, uh, an attractive guy? No, no, he was actual dog, okay. Seth. 
but he was way out of my league. He was top lawyer in my village. Okay. This includes horror stories from her country and her interpretation of laughing. Weekend Update host Seth Meyers tries to keep up and frequently chuckles through the funny routine. McKinnon's ability to switch emotions on a dime causes her co-star to hold back laughter several times. When asked about her dating life, the character produces more giggles with her attempts to use hip lingo. I'm the one who got away. <laughs> Are you dating anyone now, Olya? Uh, Seth Meyer. <laughs> you must be hungry because you are fishy. No, 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 that's... Myers clearly shows that he enjoys the exchange as much as the viewers do. Number 5. Film Screening Brought together to talk about acting, the star-studded cast of this sketch tries to have a serious talk. The discussion quickly derails after Kate McKinnon's Debette Goldry takes over. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, Samuel Goldwyn had a rule that all of his starlets had to eat arsenic tablets to make their skin glow. Her descriptions of Hollywood are wacky and sometimes awful trips down disturbing lanes, making co-stars like Leslie Jones crack up. We're just lying on a train track waiting to get run over. <laughs> <laughs> it's all so ridiculous and unexpected that you cannot help but laugh at McKinnon's performance. Seated next to the comedian, Emma Stone really loses it as she listens to Goldry's explanations. The breaking only makes this entertaining sketch all the more hilarious as a result. We don't blame Stone either, because we'd probably be laughing a whole lot more with this kind of script. They used to make me do a whole screen test just for my toot. What part of your body is your toot? I'll give you two guesses and they're both right. <laughs> Number 4. Apple Picking Ad Among the more entertaining duos on the show, A.D. Bryant and Kate McKinnon have a history of making each other laugh on screen. This sketch about an apple farm doesn't stray from that tradition. Select from our varieties like huge, soft, tiny, hard, green, orange, and, and apple. The duo comes together to advertise an awful place to find fruit, complete with some details that start to crack them up. McKinnon can barely take it anymore as she crumbles under the hilarious banter. You also have a petting zoo. We do. We have a petting zoo. Tell them, Hank. Both she and Bryant eventually regain their composure long enough to finish the funny commercial. With the added benefit of watching two friends laugh, this sketch is even better than it initially sounds. Want to hear more about us? People usually don't. We're unmarried sisters. My hair's been in one braid for 40 years and now it grows that way. <laughs> I'm 28. Number 3. Weekend Update. Doctor We Notice on Trump's televised health exam. Not every Weekend Update segment has to be a Pulitzer-winning piece of writing. This appearance from Kate McKinnon's character Dr. We Notice proves this, providing a hilarious premise with a simple joke and enjoyable voice. But he feels so good, he said, I may be immune. What is this? And now he's holding rallies. Yeah, who does this? He do this. We notice. We hate this. He do this. We notice. The talented performer has a tough time getting through her own sketch as she keeps using the same play on words. Breaking the host, Colin Jost, McKinnon is having a blast throughout. It's okay, Doctor. I'm in amazing shape. Yes. We know this. Okay. okay, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Blood pressure. <laughs> she also seems to be losing her composure and maybe even her sanity. By the end, the premise comes together like an inside joke that everybody on stage visibly loves. Kate, Kate, are you okay? I'm obviously not. Number 2. Hotel Ad with some incredibly precise writing, it's difficult not to cackle at this premise involving a sketchy hotel. An eclectic bunch of staff members run down all the amenities for guests. <laughs> we put the hospital in hospitality. Billie Eilish hides her laughter behind a smile as her co-star checks off one absurd item after the other. At one point, the singer breaks because McKinnon decides to nudge her. And breakfast. And breakfast. And breakfast means morning here at Business, Garden, Inn, and Suites, and Hotel Room Inn. The latter's chaotic energy fuels a script that cannot be beaten. Having to stand next to the comedian throughout the sketch, Eilish has a front row seat to laugh along with the audience. And hiding from the police. So join us at Business, Garden, Inn, and Suites, and Hotel Room Inn. 
It's like we always say, we may not be the Ritz Carlton. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Close Encounter In one of her greatest recurring sketches, Kate McKinnon owns the scene as someone describing an alien encounter. Yeah, a little different for me. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I had my shirt I came in with, but my pants were gone. Her co-stars have a hard time listening to her without losing it. While the other survivors have pleasant stories, McKinnon's character goes off on tangents that get crazier than the next. Did y'all get the knocker stuff? Uh, no, no knocker stuff, sorry. <laughs> and did you feel threatened, Ms. Rafferty? No, 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 no. The lines become so strange and hilarious that most of the cast holds back laughs. As for the host, Ryan Gosling, he can barely contain himself during the sketch's climax. It's easy to see this sketch going down as one of the performers best on the show for its contagious laughter. I had to just chill up there with my damn coot coot and prune shoot <laughs> till the place opened up. Did we forget your favorite Kate moment? Let us know in the comments below. The one thing that we do know is <laughs> that... No, we don't know. <laughs> do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.